Asian Financial Forum 2017 featured a panel discussion on payment technology and cybersecurity. There was focus on blockchain technology for facilitating transactions, and speaker John Wolpert, IBM's Global Blockchain Offering Director, commented after the event. John, I hear that you're in charge of a blockchain and everyone seems to have got the idea of, of the phenomenon of what blockchain is, but we're not going to be talking about that, are we? We're going to be talking about something completely different. Oh, well, not completely different, um, but uh, you know, blockchain is a lot like, like you know, think about uh, iTunes. Would we have iTunes without Napster? Would we have um, uh, uh, Netflix without BitTorrent? Right? Sometimes the mainstream takes uh, a good idea from the fringe and appropriates it and, and uses it for all sorts of things. Now, blockchain is the technology that undergirds um, you know, applications like, uh, like Bitcoin and Ethereum that are uh, crypto, what they call cryptocurrency based. Now, IBM and others, we don't have much of a view on that. All right, well, what is IBM doing? And I believe that's in the early part of 2017. Yes, in 2017, um, uh, the, the community uh, of which IBM is a part is launching something called Hyperledger Fabric, uh, which is out there today. Actually, a skilled um, developer could go out there and put up uh, what they call Fabric Peers uh, and, and start writing solutions and applications on top of it, just like the Internet. So it's, uh, a Fabric Peer is almost like the web server of, the, of a transaction-enabled Internet. And it's wholly encrypted. Oh, it's, yeah, I mean, encryption is fundamental in the system. Um, and so a peer, so the notion of fabric came as, it, this is the next wave of what, yeah, may be popular, popularly re referred to as blockchain or distributed ledger technology. You can have a public transaction or a private transaction. You can run them on different channels. Um, and fabric is a network of networks. So it puts, in commercial terms, it puts everyone in touch with everyone. That's right, if you have a peer, uh, a fabric peer running in your, uh, at your company, and you can go and uh, uh, there's, I know several people that are already starting to create registrars, naming registrars and membership registrars, right? So if, you, if I can find your identity and you can find my identity and we can resolve each other's peers, we can simply transact directly and be sure that the, the terms of that transaction and the transaction itself were, there was no shenanigans between you and me in the conducting of that business. So that's a powerful idea, but are there any ideas that could ever take this any further? Oh, I'm, well, absolutely you do. Uh, take, often people talk about Uber and how, uh, well, I could write a, a distributed ledger Uber or I could write Uber in, on blockchain or Bitcoin or Ethereum or what have you. Uh, and all of these, by the way, are, are simply networks. Um, they're, uh, what, what, what Fabric adds is it's more like a network of networks. So it's a new era, if you like, in digitalization? It's, it's, it's so exciting, I can't I hardly contain myself. It, it really is. It's like, uh, it's like being back in 1993 again. I'm going to start registering my chain names as quickly as I can. And why do, you, <laughs> why do you think that the Asian Financial Forum is the place that it's really worth talking about these things? Well, I'm, uh, well, first of all, this is an amazing event, and there's, uh, the, the, I mean, you've seen the speakers here. Um, these are the smartest people in the world on finance, and uh, and they're they're sharing ideas that that are very powerful. Only, you know, part of that has to do with what I'm working on, uh, but sharing it with them and getting their ideas about how it will go forward has been very useful to me.